All right, mud lovers, here I am today in Raynham in Essex, and behind me are the concrete barges. It's such a cool piece of history, I'm going to tell you all about them. There's a little bit of mudlarking mixed in. Let's get some luck in the muck. These barges are made of concrete because they held petrol that went over after the D-Day landings and helped at the Mulberry Harbour, allegedly. There's no actual proof about that. However, it's pretty sure that they, they, that's what they did. This is where I first went mudlarking. These amazing boats intrigued me down here to have a quick look. And when I was in the mud, I found a few coins and that started me in my quest of mudlarking. So now we're gonna go down on the foreshore a bit closer to see what we can find and hopefully get some luck in the muck. Look at that big old anchor. Reminds me of a piece of modern art, something that Henry Moore might have done. Well, this is the bottom of the Thames and uh, you never know, things might have washed up. I'm gonna go and walk this line there. I'm hoping things might have got caught up in these rocks. Who knows? Let's go have a quick look. Well, nothing to find yet, but I'm getting very close to these barges. There's one in all its glory. These barges were made from concrete because steel was in very short supply in the 1940s. They were apparently used for transporting petrol, munitions, and then used as block ships and floating pontoons. In 1953, they were put here in Raynham to help with sea flood defenses because a huge storm and tide surge damaged many parts of the estuary. These days we have the Thames barrier to prevent such flooding, which is usually brought on by strong winds and bad weather. These days they are now home to roosting birds such as rock and water pipits and pigeons of course. I don't know if that's safe to walk in. So look, reinforced, reinforced concrete. And that, that there's probably a hole where the petrol came in. Whether it came in this side or not, we don't know, but there's various um, openings. Very simple barge probably had different tanks for different uses. And you can see there the concrete, how thick the concrete there, probably about two inches thick. So they probably come up with a, a steel frame. And then reinforced it with concrete, look. There we go. Get a bit stuck now, so I'm gonna turn back. unusual piece of glass to see in there. It's got like an anchor on it. Yeah. No idea what that is. Pretty cool though. There's a few other little pieces of um, pottery and glass, mostly modern, but it might, be, it might be a diamond in the rough somewhere. There's a little Indian offering, face down. Ganesha, Ganesha. When you go mudlarking, it's really good to know your onions.
this is quite strange stuff guys, look. Things like waste glass. No, it's everywhere though. If anybody's got any ideas, let us know. I can have a quick look and see what, uh, what other types of glass there are. It's all quite pretty though, all different colours. Look. Black. What do you think? Slag, glass slag waste? Bit of a mystery. It's not plastic, it's definitely um, a solid compound or another. Really sharp as well. Really smooth, shiny. That one's got a different hue to it there, look. Starts off dark blue, going to light blue. Crazy. It's littered everywhere. Loads of it. There's a big slab of it here. Look at that. Everywhere. Been here a while as well. A big slab, slightly different hue. If you know, comment below. And it's, uh, it's actually coming out the sea wall here. And it's obviously been manufactured somewhere and then used as ballast. heavy as well, it's dense, it's like brick, it's like glass brick. There's some pretty cool bottles around here, a bit modern, there's one over there that says uh, tablespoons, might find one we can um, upcycle, let's put your gloves on. Really old, um, what do you call them? Sack barrow. Cool. Imagine if I could upcycle that. That'd be epic, wouldn't it? But it still works. There's yeah, some nice big lumps of driftwood down there, look. But just too big for me to take today. I'll come back from one day. Now look at that guys, there's a motorbike. Burn out. Yeah, shame. Still been joyriding and dumped here. Now this particular spot has got lots of bottles and all sorts of debris all washed up and washed out so it's a very interesting place. I've got a detector today so hopefully I'm going to pick out some good small little pieces. There's a few bottles lying around as well so maybe there'll be a few keepers to maybe upcycle or just to keep anyway. So without further ado let's get some more luck in the muck. You can see already there's plenty of broken bottles and stuff lying around here. Very interesting, most of it's broken but there might be a few little uh, diamonds in the rough so to speak. There might be a chance to upcycle a few of these broken bottles. Maybe there's a few keepers. Nice little bottle top there. Yeah, I haven't seen one like that before. Take that one.
big long line of broken bottles, as far as I can see. Oh, look at this. Muddy excuse for an elephant. That's <laughs> cute, isn't he? Not much left of him. He's got his trunk. And a toothbrush. I'll take the toothbrush because obviously it's plastic, so uh, that'll go in my bag, but I'll leave the elephant here for someone else, I think. Interesting place. Only 42. Cup. That's pretty cool. It's a World War One pillbox. Looking out over the Thames. Let's go and take a closer look. So here it is, close up. Pretty cool. Looks like some sort of robot. Let's have a little peek inside. I'm sure if we can get in, but we'll have a look. The entrance is around here. Oh, it doesn't look very accessible to me. Oh, there was the door. I probably could squeeze in there, but I'm just going to put my head around the uh, through the window here, just as good. Pretty neat. Probably some stand for a gun or something. Yeah, amazing you had to be posted here. Well, I'm doing some detecting. As you can see, this place is full of iron, so it might be quite tricky, but we'll keep going. We've had a little discovery, first one being a little buckle. Not sure if that's any good, might have to clean out later. Could be copper. It's got a green tinge about it, so it suggests it's copper. Yeah, I'll keep on going, see if there's anything else here. So guess who I found on the foreshore? Hi. It's Terry himself. And he's found a nice little pipe. What have you got to tell? Ooh. A little pipe, complete pipe. Bit of a crack. That's nice though. Is Lovely. there anything on it? No, I can't see. It's a little beaded decoration. It's got a beaded decoration around the bowl. Uh, Oh yeah, you're not going to notice that crack, are you? God, that's what date that is. It's yeah. 30s, 40s, I guess. Yeah, nice one, Tel. It's nice though. Yeah, lovely jolly. Yeah. So this little fella, looks like a little button. You can just see something poking out there. Later on, I'll do some electrolysis and see if there's anything on it. So stick around for later for the clean up. If there's anything on it, you'll be the first to know. Along the water's edge, there is that little find. The link. That's oh, sweet. What do you want to say, Victoria? Not slightly later. Probably later. Yeah. Nice though. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, guys, there's loads of bottles here. Lots of complete ones. Very plain. Ones that have been left behind. Very plain. Schweppes. One. Oh look, Brewery London. As I say, South East. Temperance. Well, that probably wouldn't have held any booze at all. Plus, the Temperance Brewery. Oh, tell us that something up. If only. What you got to tell? It would have been a cod. Oh. It would have been. Yeah, any writing on it? Yes. It's got a on it. Yes. It's a different one. 
So mate, we'll take that, upcycle that, take the top off. Yep. Let's have a quick look. What does that say? Dubonne? No. Mineral? Canterbury. Don't know, but that'll be a keeper. Yeah, you might be able to take that off there. Yeah, it's a nice little pop. Pick it up, there we go. Up a little bit. More modern. Too modern for me. Same thing, actually. Oh, yeah, Twinkies. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Shipman's worth a ton of money, they are. <laughs> oh, here we are. Now, yeah. oh, it's broken. Oh, oh, is it broken? Or is it just a weird. Oh, yeah, it's got a slice out of it. Do you not like this? The dark, dark green. green. They're nice, aren't they? They're so attractive, aren't they? Mm. I've got a couple of black ones there, and they're really nice, but that's dark green, isn't it? It's nice. It's worth keeping, isn't it? So, it's yeah. Them, is there? What about this one? <laughs> that's very light green, the bonnet. Look at that. Yeah, through the pile. Yeah. We've lost already. Oh, it's over there. We've got a pile going, so. Oh look, look at this fella. Oh, he's cool. <laughs> what on earth is that? He's not very happy. He does it very happy. What is it? Dunno, little sort of it looks like a little Chinese character. Look at him. <laughs> it's crazy. What crazy is in he's crazy? In He's got some crazy grazing on him. No, that's in crazy. Sweet find. There's tons of bottles down here. He's even got his little lid, look. Splash it all over. What does it smell like? Sea water. <laughs> there you go. Look. Wow. Still functions. Nice. That's quite sweet, this little... Uh... Oh, that's nice. That's got a little shield on it. Twisty top, next to another bod rule. It's all here. Button! Oh, oh right. More fun beach combing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what I used to do down there. That's a nice one. Yeah. Well, I plan to make, uh, well, by the time you've seen this, I probably would have made a few buttons because I'm trying to make them out of the old oysters to see if, if it'll work. That's oh, a nice little, uh, nice little button now. Yeah. If you see anything, shout. There's a nice uh, milk bottle. London Co-op Society Limited. Very cool. Stoneware something or other. Watts. I think so. Very nice. Got nothing on it. No, it's not too bad out here. So oh, he says sinking. Barrels there sinking in the mud. Pretty cool. 
Oh yeah, they're right as well. Aqua. Wilson. W.A. Wilson. I think I found one of these before. Oh look, there's Michelle. Another little link. Is it whole? Probably not. No. Well, look at this. It reminds me of a cocktail shaker. Quite a thick glass. Don't know. If you know, comment below. side medicine bottle the measurements there not in fancy car battery no way oh yeah look, it's got loads of lovely uh, embossing on it yeah, yeah that would have uh what they call them but you'd have taken it to the shop swapped it I really like that yeah yeah of course so I can cut that I think Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a big old lump, isn't it? Yeah, it's a big old glass there. Wow. I love the colour of the glass as well. Fortunately, the, uh, the name will have to go, but apart from that, sweet find. A bit of pot. Plain. Stuff everywhere, look. glass effect. Mm. Not your sort of thing is it? Not really. Yeah. It's nice yeah. though. Can you imagine a tea light? I don't know if a tea light would fit in there. Do you know what? I might take that and cut it anyway because I think it, if a tea light can go in there, I think it will, you know. Yeah, sod it. Let's just take the regular top off, put candle in it. Exactly, that's the idea. Upcycle all these broken bits. What do you think it is? A little whiskey decanter? Quite small, a little sampler it? or something. It's a bit too big for a perfume sort of thing, isn't it? But yeah. Mm. Here's one for Nick. You never know, this might appear in a fish that she makes one day. If I remember to give it to her. Look at that. Wouldn't that be cute? Huh? But. Uh, oh. uh, but that would have been lovely, wouldn't it? No tea for you. Right now, who fancies a game of Spot the Find? I'll give you a few seconds to have a look. I'll zoom in closely so you pick your spot. Let's go and have a look. Ah, oh, it's over here. I teased you. It's a broken bead, a glass bead. I thought it was going to be complete, but you never know until you pick them up. Cute little button there, little fly button. Worth taking and recording that. Oh, I've just found this thing. It looks like a little football badge. I think. I don't know. Can't quite read it. Ken. I think it says Ken Bags. I'm not sure on that. Stud. It's like a football badge, I think. I'll um, clean that up and let you know. Two little toothpaste lids here. In the days when they used to be made out of lead. It's a bit of lead type. When using a printing set. It might be an italicised T. Well, thanks for watching, my lovers. Hope you liked it, and I'll see you on the next adventure. But first, the cleanup.